Welcome back to another video. I'm the professor with a bow tie. I have a long time to post the video, uh, so I'm sorry for this. I have my PhD running, so I'm very busy lately. I will try to have two videos uploaded per month, uh, so bear with me uh, for a little while. Okay, this uh, video has to do with the archaeological site of Knossos in Heraklion. In today's video you will see the archaeological site and you will learn the history of this place. So stay tuned and subscribe if you like my channel and my videos. Thank you very much. Let's begin. We are heading to archaeological site of Knossos. The palace of Knossos is located at Heraklion of Crete in Greece. Chronologically, it belongs to the Bronze Age and it was the political and also the religious center of the Minoan civilization. In other words, it was built around 4,000 years ago and today we have the pleasure of visiting it and learning its history. You see many buses here and people trying to park their car but there is no problem because there is a lot of space and even outside the parking lot. Outside of the archaeological site we see many stores with souvenirs such as statues and vases that they aspire to convey some of the glamour of the Minoan culture and to become a pleasant memory to whoever acquires them. This is the queue outside the archaeological site. There is no long waiting time, but if you want to skip the line, you can look for a tour guide who is happy to show you around this beautiful place. Me and my husband approached a very sweet lady who is professional tour guide. It is Miss Eva, a beautiful red-haired lady from Crete, who gave us the tour in English, because at that time there were no other Greeks so we could make a group. And so our team consisted of very good people from England, with a will to learn everything about the Greek culture. My friends, if you are watching this video, I send you warm greetings. The first excavations were carried out by Minos Kalokerinos, a native from Heraklion, in 1878 and revealed the foundations that were the storage areas. Excavations were restarted by Arthur Evans, who bought the area where the palace is located. He waited for the Turks to leave to begin excavations as they did after the Cretan Revolution. Evans not only devoted his life to excavations, but took care to preserve and restore what he uncovered. The size of the palace was 22,000 square meters, with 1,500 rooms, plus the corridors and, and the staircases. The palace is the labyrinth of the myth, The king Minos had Daedalus construct this labyrinth, in other words the maze to retain the Minotaur. I bought this uh, souvenir uh, from the stores outside the archaeological site. As you can see it depicts Theseus ready to kill the Minotaur. Let us recall the well-known myth, Aegeus who gave his name to the Aegean Sea it was the king of Athens and uh, father of Theseus. He was in conflict with King Minos. The last offer peace to Athens on condition that Athens would, would set seven uh, young men and women 
every year to Crete to be fed to the Minotaur. The was a monster, half man and half bull. Theseus went to kill the beast and found an unexpected ally, the daughter of the king Minos, Ariadne, who fell in love with him. Ariadne gave him a ball of thread so as Theseus could find the way out of the maze by following it. Theseus killed the Minotaur. In reality, the Athenians' invasion of Crete is hidden behind this myth. This is the main entrance of the palace with the beautiful frescoes and the red columns. These frescoes give us an idea of the style and the fashion of that time. The Egyptian style can be seen and this is not surprising since the Minoans were distinguished for their commercial activities which favored the exchange of cultural elements. And a small detail. It can be seen that something is hanging on the edge of the skirt. This is not their style, but it served a practical purpose. This is a weight that was used to prevent the skirts from rising in the air. This is the storage area. Oil, wine and other liquid products were placed inside the large vessels we saw before, called pithy. Here, people wait in line to see the famous throne room. You see the stairs, how shallow and how wide they were to make the way down or up easier.
We are heading to the throne room. The throne room owes its name to the stone throne found there. The mural depicts the mythical animal griffin, Gripas, associated with Mesopotamian traditions. It had the body of a lion, the head and wings of an eagle, and the tail of a snake. But inside the Minoan palace, the griffin appears without wings to indicate its permanent presence there, as it also symbolized royal authority. Also, its mixed form symbolizes the three spheres of the world, namely the celestial with the wings and the head of an eagle, the terrestrial with the body of a lion, and the hypochthonian with the tail of the serpent. Behind those pine trees there was a river, but now only the shape remained. These beautiful frescoes depicts the bull and an olive tree. Here you see the shape of an axe that was one of the sacred symbols of Minoans. And this was the ancient theatre of the palace.